Well, good day, Tubes. This is Daisy, as you know, in the garden. Lisbon's just sat relaxing with a cup of cocoa in the living room, watching ancient aliens. We like to thank you for all your comments and everything you do for me, husband. And it's nice that you take an interest in what my husband does. My husband, I think, has done very well so far with Daisy, with his training. you got to keep manning them, keep doing all your training. And the important thing is, is never show aggression or, or get angry with them. You don't need to. And not only that, she doesn't know it. All you need to do is you tell them no, like you would if they were like like if you was like training a dog but they know they understand you just say no and never accept any bad habits because if you do you won't never stop them and I've learned all this through watching me husband so always make sure you know your bird as me husband said never do some of the things me husband does unless you know your bird and even then you just be careful, because they're very powerful. My husband can do these things because he knows her. And he does what he thinks good for you too. So my husband will do these things. It's like holding her feet with his bare hand. It's because he knows her. My husband wouldn't do it if he could if he knew she she was aggressive or grumpy. That's one thing she ain't to. She's like coughing. She's got a very good temperament. And just remember, your bird is what you make it. It's your life as well. Life on earth is how you make it. You either want to be happy and enjoy life or go around being grumpy and have no life. And it's the same with your birds. Enjoy life as it comes. Whatever what life throws at you, just let it go over you like you're on a bit on a boat at shore. Just let it go over you, past the sails, through the, the storm. Don't let it. Don't let any problems hit you. A healthy life is being happy and making your life the best you can. Well, less of my rambling, but I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of Musbin for your lovely comments and your your thumbs up and how nice you are to Musbin, all of you, including Bucking. Because I can honestly say Musbin had no parents his mum died of leukaemia when he was a little boy. He was 18 months old. And he's turned into a nice young man. And he's like booking and everyone else out there. He don't know nastiness. And he's old school. He loves to be like old, as our daughter said. You're old fashioned, Dad. <laughs> so, keep up being happy. Don't let things get you down. And John, keep up and look after Lacey. You're doing a good job. And Lacey, we love you over here in the UK. Fight, my friend. Keep fighting. Me, my husband and Daisy, we love you. We love your family. You're kind. And our prayers and our thoughts go out to you, Lace. You've got a lovely family. You're so happy. And you take care. And Mama Booking, we love you over here in the UK. And Daisy loves you. We're glad that you recovered, Mama Booking. You're a good woman. And I, I love how you sing. 
you're a good woman and you got the heart yeah, of, a, that, um, of a heart. Three bags full. Three bags full. It's, it's all, all the same. same. I'll tell you, you got a I'll lovely go voice. That. I'll go get that one. I don't know whether it's on Bandcamp or whether it's on your mum's channel. I'll have to find, try and find out. I've been meaning to get that for And you've got a good son, Booking. He's a good man. He makes my husband happy. Even when my husband had his stroke and he was really poorly, he made my husband laugh. And I'll tell you, it takes a lot. Yeah, be happy. In, uh, be proud. You've got a good son there. Be very proud. You're a good family. Whatever. And we love you. Take care, everybody. Catch you later. Recorded.